This is an overview of the syllabus for personal productivity software, COMT 12,000 for the spring 2014 semester. I'm the instructor of the course uh, named Sean Golden. Uh, at the top of the syllabus is information as far as my office phone, my office location, uh, email, and um, office hours. I will be in the office during those hours, uh, but I'm also available by appointment. I'm always available by email, and we'll try to get back to you within um, within one day, if not sooner. Uh, because this is an online class, I rely on email quite a bit. So don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions. But you can also visit my office and give me a call on my office phone, and um, we'll discuss any questions or problems you have. The textbook for the course is Microsoft Office 2013. We're using 2013 for this course. Um, you can get, probably get away with using Office 2010 if you don't have 2013 available. However, there will be some subtle differences uh, in the projects, so just be aware of that. An overview of the course is this is the second course in a sequence in a three-course sequence of Microsoft Office. We'll explore intermediate um, uh, areas in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access, and then some ideas. Uh, uh, maybe outside the spectrum of Office as well. Um, this is, I mentioned, this is a web-based course. I use Blackboard Learn to house and um, contain most of the items for our course. So um, I have another video that demonstrates how to navigate through the course in Blackboard. Um, typically, our assignments will be given on Mondays and will be due on Sundays. And I'll show you that at the bottom of the syllabus. Um, as mentioned, we are using Office 2013. Most Kent campuses, if not all of them now, do have Office 2013. Um, if you do have Office at your home, just be aware that you possibly can get away with 2010, but this course is set up and designed for 2013. You will need Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Sometimes Access doesn't come uh, included with the Office package, so make sure if you do have it at home that you do also have Access. If not, you can always use the uh, campus, um, closest campus to you, their computer lab if, if necessary. Um, if you have any questions during the course as far as technical, certainly let me know so that I'm aware that you do have technical glitches, but also contact Kent's help desk. They will certainly be able to help you much better than I, I will, but I'd like to be kept in the loop so that I know if something's going on, uh, especially if projects are late, you're in, in, uh, encountering some type of glitches. Um, registration for our course. You can withdraw for our, from our course up till January 26th um, before a W shows up on your transcript. Anytime after that, up till March 23rd, you can withdraw from the course with a W. I do ask this, if you are considering dropping the course at any time for whatever reason, please contact me before you do that because sometimes uh, situations arise that we can work around. Um, I'm semi-flexible, so if something comes up uh, before you drop the class, please contact me and we'll uh, discuss the situation. Grading policy. Um, as most classes, uh, regular participation, preparation is involved to uh, lead you to success. Um, I'll show you the schedule at the bottom of the syllabus in a minute, but I have, have a specific assignment due dates that are um, more or less set in stone, you can submit a project up to one week late um, with a penalty. Anything after one week, um, I technically have the right not to accept that. If that situation again arises, let me know, contact me, um, and maybe we can work around something like that. The reason for that is I don't like to have outstanding projects, you know, two, three, four weeks weeks out. Um, it's difficult for me and it's not fair to the people who actually do submit their projects on time. Um, basically the, the, the course is broken down into three elements. Homework projects that are worth 50 percent, your tests uh, one and two. Um, the first test will cover uh, two, two of the programs, I believe Word and PowerPoint. Test two will be Excel and Access. And then the final exam items will be projects for all four of the uh, programs. Grading scales are typical 90, 80, 70, 60. Disability statement. If you have any accommodations that are required, please contact Danielle Baker Rose.
her email address is, is listed on the syllabus. Um, even if you do not attend the Salem or East Liverpool campus, she's the person that needs to be contacted because that is where this course originates from. So you may have a different campus that you attend or are closer to, but you do need to contact Danielle Baker Rose because uh, she is the um, coordinator at Salem and East Liverpool. Just a statement about cheating and plagiarizing. Um, basically, if you're doing work uh, or if you're using someone else's work and taking credit for it, that is cheating and plagiarism. And the uh, Kent policy is stated there um, along with the ramifications. I have had students in the past push the envelope on this, so I'm not encouraging it. Um, and oftentimes when people uh, try to cheat, they don't do a very good job of it. So if I catch you cheating, um, I will do as much as I can to uh, get the maximized penalty. As far as email goes, I will cor correspond through Kent email only, and I'll do this on a regular basis, usually every week, just to kind of give you an update of where we're at in the course. So check your email regularly. If you have questions, email me through your Kent email to my Kent email. Um, I don't like dealing with personal emails because I don't know if it's you or not. I will know uh, more than likely if you're sending email through your Ken email if indeed it is you. Um, the schedule is basically set up in kind of clusters except for the first word project. The first word project I have due at the end of the first week. The reason for that is I want to make sure people are on task, understand what's going on, and doing uh, what they're supposed to be doing. Um, after that, I have it set up in pockets where, for example, Word Project 5, 6, and 7 are not due till February 2nd. So you have a little bit of time to complete those. I encourage you to do your projects sooner rather than later, not wait till the last minute because oftentimes you wait till the last minute, something comes up um, and prevents you from getting things done. Same idea, PowerPoint projects 4, 5, 6, and 7, they're not due to the 23rd. So you can start these at any time, just realize this is the due date. And I actually at the bottom, I listed the, the due dates in a, a slightly different format. I'm going to do my best to stick to this schedule. If anything comes up during the semester that needs to be changed, I'll inform you through email. And I will only do this to benefit you, which means I would only move dates to a later time rather than earlier time. So um, typically I don't adjust the schedule unless something very, very uh, crazy happens. So this is an overview of our syllabus. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me, and I'll be ha happy to provide clarification. Have a good semester.